hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part one so let's jump right into it now according to breakingtravelnews.com I have got 10 fabulous interesting travel facts so let's fire away with number one which is at the Radisson Collection Hotel in Ban Masco or Ban Mako uh, takes the brand into Africa. Ban Mako is a colourful, throbbing, necropolic, boosting several museums displaying rich history and culture, such as the National Museum or the Museo. Kunda Museum in Bamako, uh, which is the capital and the largest city of the, the country Mali in Africa, West Africa. So wow, um, well done to Mali and the Radisson hotel chain and I hope it goes as well as possible um, especially uh, going into uh, next year just so um, so I hope um, they have a brilliant uh, 2021 number two Chukka excuse my pronunciation Caribbean Adventures open a new Jamaica facility, the tourism sector in Jamaica has uh, received a boost with the additional addition of a new adventure park in Sandy Bay. Look, Siva, um, the US uh, $2 million facility has been developed by Ch Chuck Caribbean Adventures. So, I hope that goes as well as possible um, for obviously the USA government uh, money and Jamaica and Sandy Bay and Chuka Caribbean Adventures. Wow. Moving on to number three, UK inbound bound calls for industry relief as receipts sh uh, shrimp and um, the UK inbound has released uh, projections that the sh that the, the show collapsed in international visitors it could cost the UK economy up to 2.5 billion pounds over the Christmas period which again is not good news um, again um, when all this uh, COVID-19 is over with and people get uh, the injections um, I really hope um, that our con economy will get a boost um, I'm really praying and hoping for that um, but it it is what it is um, I'm really sorry to speak about it but um, I just again think it's interesting for you to know number four nations close the border to the UK as new COVID-19 variety spreads um, again um, London and places in the south east of England um, have gone into full stage four lockdown um, so again flights are going to be cancelled and travel in general um, because it's against the restrictions um, in London um, so I do 
and the southeast and again i really hope more regions don't go in uh, go into lockdown um but um again um i pray for everybody in the uk and um, is going to be okay um over at the christmas period um and i really hope the virus uh doesn't uh, spread as quickly and hopefully as soon as we can get vaccinated the better um and number five carnival cruise line welcomes mardi gras to the fleet so well done carnival cruises um number six at pullman ketho lack resort opens in thailand so good luck to the pullman ko luck resort and also to thailand for that um, i hope it goes as well as possible for you number seven to we cancel luton flights as the airport moves into tier four again um again customers will have to again try and get their money back uh, by TUI that have booked um, but again I really feel sorry for uh, the London airports in in general because again um, it's yet another hit um, but on the positive side um, again number eight air greenland has ordered its first airbus a330 neo wow i hope uh, for air greenland greenland it's itself um and airbus it uh, all takes off as well as possible fingers crossed and number nine government in the uk is uh, also to refund rail tickets at following the christmas cancellations um so hi i think it's again um a really good idea that the government um, in the uk are refunding rail tickets um again it is a really sad situation um especially for people in the southeast and the capital city london um but again it's it's just sad and um again i hope uh when this virus passes hopefully as soon as possible people will be able to see um family and friends and travel again um around the country but it is better to be safe than sorry um so that is what the government's ordered us to do and on the op um, which is number 10 thailand have reopened borders to international travelers uh, obviously um it'll probably be not open to uk travelers with our current level of covid19 but other countries um will be that have lower covid levels um will be able to travel to thailand and it looks like an amazing country i know that people have been there and, and have really enjoyed it so 
again um, good luck to Thailand and any international travellers that can travel there I would like to say thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel it's um the red and white subscribe button plus i upload five times a week so click the notification bell and you'll receive a notification every time i upload next time i'm going to upload is on a wednesday and it is going to be the basically the latest travel news in the UK uh, part one so uh, please keep watching and uh, everybody please stay safe and thank you and bye for now thank you bye